Hey there everyone, this is Leo from TechLine, and someone actually suggested that I should try a VR game that's free on Steam called PC Virtual Lab. Now, uh, just real quick, if we go ahead and over look over in the Steam store, uh, it's coming up as mostly negative. Now, I professionally build and service PCs as a uh, you know, part of my income, and uh, I did play games like PC Building Simulator even previously on this channel because I found them legitimately fun, but this has already given me a huge red flag as to what I'm experiencing in this game. The fact that it says mostly negative and that there's, you know, 63% of people think that this game is awful. But you know what? Just because it was suggested, I figured that I'll throw on my Quest 2 headset and just kind of see how, what this game is actually feeling like. So let's go ahead and jump on and see what's going on from there. This video is brought to you by us over at TechLinePCs.com where you can check out our store for custom mid-range builds along with our consolation page where you can fill in whether you'd like an upgrade, a new build, a pre-built PC along with a budget and we'll work with you on the PC of your choice. Check us out again over at TechLinePCs.com. All right, I got my Quest 2 on, we're already inside the game, and I hate how it's making me look straight up just to uh, choose English, all right. Let's check out the menu, let's see what's in this game. All right, where am I? Ah, Oculus Touch, here you can see the controls, okay. It's giving me a nice set of what the controls look like. I hate that you can't sidestep. Seems like you can only move forward, backwards, and turn left or right. So I know a lot of like FPS games I've been playing on, on the uh, Oculus. Oh my God, my hands are so pale. <laughs> I have a real out-of-body experience now. I'm not Caucasian. Welcome to PC Virtual Lab. In this panel, you can ex you can start this experience. All right. Oh, we got a couple of uh, PC parts that we see over here. We got ourselves a nice little cooler, a 500 watt power supply, a GeForce GTX card. Looks like a 1650 if I wanted to crack a guess at it, and a motherboard. So I mean, all right. So far, we got some parts here. We got some parts. So far, that's pretty good. And we're just kind of stuck in this room. Looks like an office. Uh, I'll be honest, it already looks better than my own crafting desk that I have here for tech line but uh, to begin the new game please click here let's check out the graphic options real quick why is the fps capped at 30 by default let's change that let's get that set to unlimited there's some weird janky controllerness happening here what is going on like it's like juddering everywhere i'm just trying to point at the menu why is it like going everywhere else except for where i'm pointing let me play the game it's like what is this? What is going on here? Can I press level? Okay, let me try a different op. Okay, what is happening here? I haven't even gotten to start the game yet and it's already giving me problems because for some reason the pointers are just going in every odd direction. I can see these blue lines that are pointing in certain areas and then they're just kind of like jutting off in random directions. I'm not sure what's going on, but I've played other VR games and I haven't had weird issues like this. Let's see if I can press you. No, all right, there. Okay, maybe I'm too close to the table. I don't know. Start a new game. This input is is already starting to like really burn me sideways. So we're in the tutorial level. So check out the tutorial. Whoop. All right. Welcome to the tutorial on how to assemble a PC from parts. Fantastic. First, we're going to place the CPU on the motherboard. Oh, can I lower this desk? Oh, hell yeah. Awesome. So I don't have to stand too far here. I mean, I could really tell that we're using an AM4 motherboard over here. And we got, I don't know the kind of specific memory that is. I'm pretty sure I've seen a lot of Corsair one that kind of looks like that with all the RGB on it. And yeah, you could tell it's AM4 because it's even got the race cooler that's on there. But all right, so we, we got our parts. We, we mostly have everything. We, we're using an SSD, uh, a 2.5 inch SSD as opposed to a, the uh, old M.2 drive. But there is an M.2 drive slot on this motherboard. Two of them actually that I I can see there three yeah there's three of them yeah two of them with the shield on, on there so it's pretty detailed i'll be honest like we're getting some good detail out of this but let's see where things get haywire outside of like the whole weird problems that i'm having with uh, just trying to keep calm and build the computer all right i'll give it a shot we got ourselves a case here i'm not sure of the specific model but interesting all right let's see what we can do here cpus the brains there's two major series of cpu products of course intel and amd advantages and disadvantages also true Intel sockets only work with intel processors all I mean that's not really an advantage that's just what it fits in that's like saying that like a square peg has an advantage in fitting in a square hole performance is reflected on the number of cores clock frequency ability to increase performance cache size yeah yeah that'd be mostly true can we like advance this like is there any other instructions here oh we got some computer lab stuff here it's kind of reminds me of when i was in high school and i would have the like, computer labs that were filled with like dell computers that were kind of just like these with the speakers built onto them and whatnot so that, that's pretty interesting cool to see that I haven't seen a disk drive in years but where do we where do we go from here though do i just grab oh all right so we, we're grabbing this this does not look at the top like any am4 
processor I've ever seen. So let's just see if we can just get it installed somehow. So, uh, pop it in there. Oh, it just falls on in. All right. <laughs> CPU cooler. Yeah, it generates a lot of heat. Do we have to apply thermal paste? Now, funny enough, a lot of the, the Wraith coolers themselves come with pre-applied thermal paste, and it does seem like they uh, remember that. What is with this janky... Okay, hold up. I can't pick it up. I can't... <laughs> Can I maybe move the table a bit or something? Or I can't pick up the CPU cooler. It just clipped through the table. Um, can I like restart it, I guess? I already have to restart the game because a bug occurred that clipped the cooler through the table and I couldn't apply it onto the CPU itself. I'm already starting to feel these negative reviews, like personally. All right, so now we're trying this again, this time from a standing position, because I'm pretty sure that's what the game was requiring me to do, because it just wasn't functional in any other capacity. So let's just start again from where we were at. We got the CPU socket. We're just gonna drop the processor in there. It clips in on itself, so that's cool. So once again, Wraith cooler. All right, so we got the Wraith cooler in here. We got the pre-applied thermal paste. So we'll just go ahead and carefully snaps on it. It's it's kind of funny. It, it like screws itself on there and uh, plugs itself into the motherboard. So I don't even have to think about that. We got the RAM that's on there. I like how the RAM that they're showing on the display here doesn't match the motherboard that we're actually using because this is the kind of motherboard that would use for like one of those like epic processors uh, not so much an am4 processor it's like why you have like ram on two different sides that are there i have to like fully rotate around so we'll grab one of these i believe these are dominators i might be wrong there's a lot of ram that looks like that but it's on there Blanca base. it suddenly went in the spanish i mean i can read it it's just like i know i selected english it's just it's letting us know about the motherboard i'll just go ahead and install the motherboard into the case it's kind of funny though that suddenly we went to spanish we don't even like install the motherboard itself. It just slides on in. Graphic card, GPU. Now now it's back to English. That's great. Almost all ATX or larger motherboards have several PCI Express 16X slots. This is true. A lot of them do. Um, but we'll go ahead and install this GPU. This is usually something I do last um, because of wiring. It gets in the way, especially for try Am I stuck? I can't seem to move. There we go. Yeah, generally, I, it, I personally try to install these last because I can't move while I'm holding the graphics card okay but it's giving me like a ghostly image so just, yeah it just snaps on in there all right so we got the hard drive the hard drive is the computer storage device of course yeah it's showing us an ssd as opposed to an nvme drive but that's fine let's see if i can get that on there now the question is oh it's gonna have us install it right onto this case funny thing is in a lot of modern cases they have the ssds themselves installed on like the back of the case or like under the carriage like away from view the stupid thing is i can't move while i'm holding the product like i can move when i don't have it in my hands but if but if the moment i picked it up oh now i can move oh i can't move when i have it in my left hand okay that's in there automatically plugs in we already got the uh, the cord that's on there we don't have power in there well that's because the power is over there uh, psu all right power system converts ac power to dc power of course of course i always recommend that when you're looking for a power supply when it comes to getting your system built is to check the power supply requirement of your gpu and generally it'll kind of give you a good estimate as to how much power you need the one in the display that's a corsair 850 watt power supply it's still using that old ketchup and mustard cable style this is only asking for 500 watts uh which for a uh, 1650 that we have installed there, more than enough. All right, I can't move if I'm holding things with my left hand. Pick it up with my right, and now I have the ability to move. That is weird. So I'm assuming it's just gonna have us put it in the bottom. Yep. No, uh, no fancy cable routing in this. As we can see, it's just going right over everything. That's kind of gross. I'm, I'm used to cables, especially with the PCs that I've been building. It's just snaking up behind it. Uh, great. Press the red button and check that the computer works. But we didn't plug in the front panel. Like we didn't actually plug in the on button or anything like that it's just it's kind of incomplete information it's on okay all right i guess the computer works right now you've completed the tutorial in this challenge you have to place each of the texts in its corresponding place on the motherboard well the cpu is going to go here the ram is going to go here and the gpu is going to go on the tech they can go either here or here but i'm pretty sure it's going to want us in the top slot and uh, PCH, what? Oh my God, am I stupid? What's a PCH? Why did I forget what it is? I honestly have no idea what PCH stand for. Oh my God, I might be like completely out of my debt. 
Did that mean like power supply? Okay, airflow. Oh, we got fans. That's good. So, oh my God, the computer is literally on fire. Okay, so we got the arrow points and the direction in which the fans move. You know what I do like, especially about more current fans, is that they actually have that written on the fan itself to show which direction air is going to go through. Because uh, sometimes fans are built different and that's a problem. Airflow, air should travel generally in the path through the case. Generally, the fans front the case drawing air in yep so it's just doing like a configuration like most pcs nowadays you're just gonna have intake fans that are coming in through here and then you'll have an outtake fan on that side but this is coming up with three intakes and three outtakes so i'm assuming it's gonna have two of them installed at the top one at the back and three in the front so let's just go ahead and install the where does it want it I'm trying to oh there it goes all right so we got one fan installed up at the top look at all this wasted space like you could totally fit three of them in there and it's just only allowing me to put in two and then we'll just take one for outtake if i can grab it and we'll install it there and no i don't want to point it in i want to point it out why is it flipping it over oh my god do i have to spit i can't just turn the damn thing over okay let me choose the other one I think that's just the way this works. Like it only allows you to install the fan in one way. It just have a specific fan for specific needs. Let's see if I can get top fan for, oh, it doesn't let me install any at the top. I can't install a top fan? All right, so well, we got two fans that are in and one that's out, which is fine. Uh, I think the more concerning aspect is that for some reason, this power supply is on and spinning and doing its thing and like generating heat. And yet the rest of the computer is not on right now. Like we don't even see that the graphic card is plugged in. We don't see that the uh, CPU itself or the fan itself for the for the cooler is plugged in. And somehow there's a lot of heat going on here. But let's just see what happens from there. So, boop. great. All right, that's what I figured. Just realized it wouldn't be that bad of an idea for me to move my microphone a bit closer at this point. So that's what I did. By placing any object in the plate, you can see its characteristics. Ah, oh, dude, can I get one of these in real life? I'm pretty sure I could just like place the RAM over there. God, I hate that I can't sidestep. I tried to place it there and you wouldn't let me. It... <sighs> Assemble the computer with the following characteristics. 12 core CPU, 16 gigs of RAM, a GPU with at least eight gigs of memory, a 512 gigs SSD, 800 watts of power? That's an overkill for power when it comes to eight gigabyte like GPUs that you're using, but all right. So let's at least first see about, um, we only have one motherboard. So let's at least just see what kind of RAM are we working with here? I... <sighs> Place here any component to check character, but how do I do it? Like, I'm like, it's like not plate. I don't know how this is supposed to work. Maybe if I use my left hand. Why can't I like read a label and have the label tell me what it'll say? Cause usually that's what I would do. Like I would pick up a GPU and you would find like a sticker on the back of it like here that it'll be like, oh, you know, 1660 super eight gig. And I don't think there's an eight gig 1660, but you know, GeForce GTX cards. It's like, how do I, oh, there, I have to like angle it a specific way. Hold up. There we go. Two. What GTX card has only two gigs of memory? First of all, let's at least get, let's start off with the processor. All right, let's at least start off that side. So let's just see. I gotta like find like the right, there it is. Uh, that is an eight core AM4 processor. I'm trying to think what 12 core AM4 processors are there. I'm assuming it's the, uh, like the 5950. There we go. We got the first 12 core. All right. So let's go ahead and get this installed in the motherboard. And then we're going to need 16 gigs of RAM. Um, it doesn't say what speed, but I'm going to assume it's going to be 3600 if we're going to go for that. 20, uh, 2666. I mean, let's just, let's just hit the standard. Let's just make sure that we're hitting the, uh, the numbers here. And from there, we need to make sure that we have ourselves 512 gig drive, so that should be pretty easy to do. I mean, at this point, oh, it has it written under it. That's convenient. So that one's a two terabyte. That one's a one terabyte, 512. All right, finally, we have some details that we could look at here. And then let's just get that installed in the case. All right, oh, we need the cooler, of course. All right, so we got CPU, we got the cooler for the CPU, we got our 16 gigs of RAM, and inside the case we have ourselves our 512 gig hard drive, or solid state drive, and we'll just throw the motherboard in there. Now we need to make sure that we find ourselves, oh, the 800 watt power supply, also easy enough. If we see here, oh, it says at least 800. So, okay, we'll, we'll go with uh, 850, that's more than enough. All right, so most of the components are in there. I like how for some reason, the uh, PCI Express uh, power connector is just floating there, uh, mostly disconnected. So that that's, 
that's a safety hazard that I'm looking at here. It doesn't interact with my hand, that's kinda cool. But uh, now it's asking for an eight gig GPU. It's most likely this card. Process of elimination, we got an eight gig card. All right, let's do with that. Let's go ahead and get that installed. That is not good cable management. You probably shouldn't cinch your cable uh, through the uh, CPU cooler like that and then through the motherboard, that might be a problem. Let's just go ahead and uh, turn it on. Uh, I would highly advise against turning on a computer that's in this state, but. Uh, according to my to my robot here, they said that was a good idea. All right, hopefully that's the end of the uh, the tutorial level. But man, this is already uh already pretty bad. How did I fail the last assessment? Is that it? Is that the whole thing? They gave us like some very basic components, even a component that we didn't even get to use in the game itself. But uh, that was uh, that was that was terrible. <laughs> That was not very good. There doesn't seem to be anything more. It just says start a new game from here and come, come from the save game. So I, uh, I guess that's it. So let's just, uh, let's just take this headset off and be done with this. Yeah, that was um, nothing short of terrible. I'm gonna go ahead and get that uninstalled from my PC almost immediately because that did, that just did not work properly whatsoever. I'm gonna go ahead and leave my review on there as well and just say like, this was a janky experience at best. If you're gonna to wanna to play a video game that's out there that helps you at least build a PC in some way, shape, or form, I would definitely recommend PC Building Simulator. It's over on the Epic Game Store still. Uh, that one's a much more fun and less janky experience than that. But, you know, if you guys have any other suggestions for me, just let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe and check out our store over at techlionpcs.com. And also follow our socials for other builds that we'll be doing and posting on our shop. Until next time, this is Leo signing out.